So yes, good morrow, gentle fobs and lady beans. It's Monday again, meaning again it's my day again. Last week our discussion was somewhat serious, so I think I will make this week somewhat serious as well. And then next week completely ruin it with like a dragon-sized duck or something similar. Which you did last week. Shut up. Where was I? Ah, yes. I remember what I was going to discuss this week. No help from you, you FIFA playing bastard. Sacrifices. Sacrifices! I make a clip of him saying that. Sacrifices! There, everyone loves Volcano George from the Volvic advert. Simply put, it's easy for us to say that every single generation before us got it wrong. Not saying I'm full of myself, but so far, I have been born into a world where I will be 76 before I pay off my education. I have no hope in hell of buying a house. If I don't find a new way of powering motor vehicles, I'll cause the end of the planet and kill every single penguin. Oh no, not penguins! And every single country's on the brink of nuclear war. But I'm still alive! I mean, I know 70 years ago there was a world war, but they didn't have proper weapons of mass destruction. That was staged by millions of troops against millions of other troops. Whereas now, all it takes is one guy to just go, you know, half my citizens don't even know where Iran is. So if I just press this button here, they'll never have to learn again. And then it's gone, you know? And then we never have to worry about it. But the problem is, as I said, I'm part of that generation. The part where all it takes is one stupid mistake and one little movement of the finger and we're screwed forever. But my question to the Discussables this week, and yes, I am actually putting it into the video which forces them to watch it other than the last 10 seconds. My question this week is, as a member of this fundamental generation where uh, Obviously, we have to make sacrifices to try and, you know, bolster the act of being a human for other generations. Will you be one of the people who will spend your life donating to charity to try and help Africa? Spend your life devoted to finding a cure for cancer? Spend your life trying to figure a new form of transportation that don't use dead animals because it's wrong? Or, will you be the type of citizen who will just be all like, you know, fuck that, I'm going to spend all my money on dib-dabs. And yes, I am looking at you, Abby. I know I promised to sing you a song, but that will have to come next week. My throat is sore enough. Getting distracted again, aren't I? Personally, I would find a cure for cancer if I wasn't completely retarded. I would invent solar power, but someone else beat me to it. And being the fat guy I am, I'm not exactly the sort of person to ride a bike. I probably should, but I have no sense of balance, so that really doesn't work for me either. But I'd really like to know what you guys would do. Because, I mean, let's say you did win the lottery and you won £128 million. If you were to do what, what uh, generations before us have done, you would buy a humongous mansion, you would put it into a Swiss bank account to try and get interest on it to profit for your own life, and as you can tell, that would be the latter of the two answers to my question I provided. Hey look, it's Alan's head. Or would you spend that money towards cancer research? Would you spend it on housing in Africa, trying to boost their standard of living? Would you buy out a dib dabs factory so Abby no longer has to spend a penny of it and her life is immediately easier? Which probably doesn't benefit the human race as much as she'd hope it would. But why not? At least, at least you've made one person smile, I suppose. But now, in the uh, jest of sacrifice, I suppose, I'm going to give, I wouldn't say a strand, a few strands of my hair to the hair god, so he knows just how much I appreciate the fact that university hasn't gotten rid of me yet, and I'm still alive, considering. Hmm, 
Okay. Mortal, that is not enough. What do you mean, not enough? No! <laughs>